What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing a unaware Clefable and Choice Band Dragapult team for ranked Regulation H. Now, when it comes to this team, obviously when you guys look at it, we got one of the best combos for Regulation H on it, Bash Legion, Pelipper, and Arch Ludon. Yeah, that combo is great. We're probably going to be using it a little bit in today's video, but I don't want to overuse it and I kind of want to focus on Clefable and Dragapult considering you know, everybody has been using Pelipper, Bash Legion, Arch Ludon. So I don't just want to spam that and have like an annoying meta video. I'd rather use some different Pokemon for you guys. So let's talk about Clefable to get things started. Clefable has Unaware with the Safety Goggles as item. Rocking the Grass Terror type with Icy Wind for Speed Control. Moonblast for Stab Damage. Follow me for Support. And last but not least, it has Protect. Our choice span Dragon Ball, on the other hand, is made for big time damage with Clear Body, Dragon Darts, Phantom Force, U-Turn, and Terror Blast with that Dragon Terror type. We also got Corviknight on today's team. Corviknight is a solid Pokemon as it's really bulky. It's got Iron Defense, it's got Roost for HP Recovery, and it has Body Press with the Fighting Terror type. Can do some big time damage, can outbulk the competition. And then, like I mentioned, we got the three Rain Squad Pokemon, Bass Legion with the Life Orb, Arch Ludon with the Assault Vest, and then Pelipper with that Focus Sash. You cannot go wrong with this Rain Squad. Guys, when run the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Dragapult and Clefable team. First things first, huge shout out to my boy Kev for sending this team to me. Thank you so much. Hopefully, grab some wins for you guys. If you guys want to send me rental codes, make sure you guys do so in the comment section down below or do me one better. Head on over to my Twitter. Link is down in the description below. DM me over there. But if you guys already did do that, be patient. I didn't check out all the teams yet. So again, be patient with me. Thank you guys so much for all the rental codes you guys have been sending. But we're hopping into our first match going up against Don Dizzy Dozo. Now, this is kind of annoying, especially because we do not have like a haze user or like a clear smog user to get rid of stat changes. But I feel like we can deal with it, especially with Arch Ludon. But who should I lead here? How should I get after it? They also have Sneasler. They have Dragapult. They got Murkrow. And then they got Golden Go. They could end up leading Murkrow. I mean, Clefable could be pretty good, especially as a uh, follow me user and Icy Wind Speed Control user. I actually do like that. So I am going to end up going into Clefable. And I think I'm gonna, just going to start bulking my defense with Corviknight. That could be good. That could be good. I am actually scared of what's it called? Dragapult coming out here for the lead. But if you do, you do. I think we should be able to deal with it. We're going to go into Arch Ludon and then Pelipper as our late game last Pokemon. So I like this. I like Clefable here. I think Clefable, if they don't lead Dragapult, is really good. But if they do lead Dragapult, it could be scary because the problem with fairy types up against Dragapult is they can just then launch Dragon Darts and instead of attacking the fairy Pokemon, they will double down into the other Pokemon, which we don't really want for Core of Night unless it starts getting bulked up with uh, Iron Defense. But at that point, it'd be scary. So they're going to end up leading Murkrow and Golden Go, which I don't mind. I really like our typing here. Clefable's shown here. I mean, I should probably Terrasalize Clefable. And do I go for follow me? I definitely want to go for iron defense. I definitely want to go for iron defense, but I'm just going to actually protect you right now. And just go for this iron defense. Let's do it. Because what could Murkrow do here? He could haze. Oh, no. We should probably attack this Murkrow first and foremost. We're going to Terrasalize, not you. We're going to Terrasalize and attack this Murkrow. We're going to double down to this Murkrow. Yeah, I'm not a fan of haze. I am not a fan of Haze. Chances are it does have Haze. So I'm just going to Terrasalize. I'm going to double down into this Murkrow. Look to deal some damage to it. Try to get rid of it and then hopefully pop a Body Press a little bit. So that's our play call. Getting Clefabling with it. We're going with Clefable. Looking to drop some Moonblast. Let's make it rain would be scary. Tailwind is going to fly. Fair call for his end. And are you going for Nasty Pot or make it rain? You're going to go for Trick. Okay, so you're taking, mm, you're taking my left there. But luckily we're not going for Iron Defense this turn. Maybe they thought we were. Now we got the choice spec, so we're choiced in a body press, which is kind of funny. But I don't have my leftovers anymore, which is kind of annoying. We do respectable damage with that shot. Moonblast going to launch. How much damage are we doing here? Enough. Get on out of here, Murkrow. So, he's got leftovers. I'm choiced in a body press, which I mean, this is the only move we should be choiced into. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. Our Corviknight's kind of just chilling here in an odd position. Um, Let's see who they end up going into. It's going to be Don Dozo. Now, Don Dozo, oh man, super annoying here. I really want to bulk my defense just so we can kind of deal with it. But I mean, at this point, what is our play? We could swap Corviknight. Just Icy Wind slow down a little bit. I mean, you could, you're gonna, you guys are going to have speed control for a little bit. Do we think there's a chance that they do swap into uh, 
Tatsugiri here. I think there's gotta be. So I'm gonna do this. Um, I can't even protect. I forgot I'm choice spec. And I guess we'll just start trying to launch body presses if I can. Make it simple. To make it rain is gonna launch. That's that's fine. I mean, my Pokemon soak rather well. Which Corbin and I had leftovers, and substitute is gonna fly here. So substitute's gonna come out here. Hopefully we can uh, fade the substitute here. With this, with the combination of body press and icy wind. So body press is gonna deal some damage, and it does not fade it. I don't think icy wind will either, which is kind of tough. Does it still lower the speed set? Will it fade it? Fade it, please. No, it doesn't. Speed's gonna drop. And speed doesn't drop for through the sub. That is annoying. That is definitely annoying. And now they both have leftovers. Oh, dude, this is going to get ugly. It's going to get real ugly. So we're slowing down our opponents a little bit. Just trying to waste out these tailwind turns, I guess, is our best play. I guess I'll just launch a moon blast in this slot. Let's just start dealing damage. Moon blast, body press. I can't I can't do much here with Corviknight. Besides just like waste out turns. I think my whole plan is to just kind of get out Pelipper or Arch Luda and try to win the game late here. But he's just going to end up protecting Don Dozo. Which is, I mean, that's fine. I mean, you're minus one on special attack. I mean, Make It Rain could still do respectable damage. Unless you're going for a nasty plot here. But now you're going to go for Make It Rain. That's going to fly. Confable taking a bit more damage. I wish I had leftovers on my Corvo. I really wish. Because, dude, we, we would have been setting up body presses all day long winning this game. If they didn't trick me into choice specs. Oh, man. So Moon Blast is just going to fire. It is going to get blocked. Um, Tailwind should have one more turn. How do I even play this? I have to get rid of this. What's it called? I have to get rid of this substitute. I'm going to double down and down those again. You KO Michael Fable. You KO Michael Fable. But I, first things first, I have to get rid of this. Uh, I have to get rid of this. What's it called? This substitute. So Shadow Ball flies. He is minus two on special attack, so that's not bad that Clefable died out. I feel like it did decent work. Could have been better, but I mean what are you gonna what, what do you want from Clefable? Order up's gonna fly out here. How much damage are you rocketing here? Probably minimal. Yeah. Minimal damage all day. You will not get a boost. You go back behind your substitute. And this body press should be able to take out your substitute. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Thank you. Alright, cool. So we get rid of the substitute, which is really good on our end. Um Archaludon's probably the play, especially sitting here with a minus two golden go. I'm not really going to worry about it. They could end up protecting, though, Dondozo again, which is a slight issue. But if you protect Dondozo, I mean, I'm just going to start boosting my special attack with Electro Shot. Because I'm going to swap Corvo for the uh, for the Pelipper here. For the Pelipper. So I'm going to send this. Um, you do have Order Up. I'm trying to think what other moves do you have. Order up Wave Crash. I mean, I think we're fine with that. I'm going to set the rain, though. I am setting the rain. So rain going to come out here. He's going to end up withdrawing Golden Go. He's going to go into Tatsugiri. Going to boost all of his stats up. I really wish we had Haze, man. Haze would have been the play. Haze would have been the play. So Arch Ludon chilling here on the field. I'm not sure if he's Terrastalized. I think Terra would come out after the swap animations. So he's swapping, I'm swapping. We're getting out Pelipper. We're, we're looking to do some damage. I know that this Electro Shot's going to do eh damage. But I'm really hoping we can maybe get like crit up in there. Or it could do respectable damage considering we're going to go plus one. A little bit of plus one action. But I wonder who he's attacking here. I do wonder who he's attacking. And he is going to end up Terrasalizing, which is a smart call. And what type of going into? Maybe Grass where Hurricane can actually rip up into you? It's going to be Dragon. Such a shame. I do have Draco Meteor. Oh, dude, if I can land a plus one Draco Meteor, I would really like that. Or up's gonna fly into Pelipper. No, it's actually flying into Archaludon, and that's doing some damage, man. That is dealing some damage. I wish I had Protect. I really wish I had Protect. Electro Shot gonna fly. Um, I don't think there's much we could do here now, especially with you outspeeding me. There's really not much we can do. There's really not much we can do. This is... Ooh, that damage is great. That's some great damage. It was a crit. We did end up getting a crit. And he can just outspeed and order up here. I'm kind of hoping he's just going to protect and we can tailwind. Honestly, our best bet would probably be to swap you. Have Corviknight take some damage and set up the tailwind for speed control. 
Thing is, can Archlord not outspeed with Tailwind? I'm not sure. That's my problem. Actually, yeah, it should. 150? It definitely should. That's a fast Archer Ludon. So, yeah, I'm going to end up swapping and just popping a Tailwind. We have to. I know I'm plus one. We have to. Because the thing is, if you outspeed me here, which you do, you can just order up a KO my Archer Ludon. So, I'm going to swap into Corb Knight. I'd rather Corb Knight take this shot. He's plus three on attack. Only way we're KOing it is if Archer Ludon hits it with a Draco Meteor. So, that's the one way. That's the one way. Order up going to fly. It's going to go back into the slot. We knew this all day. And Corb Knight actually soaks it, which is pretty good. Corbinite actually soaks that shot. So Tailwind gets set up here. Um, we have to find a way to get out Arch Ludon. Because they don't want us to get out Arch Ludon. They might just attack the Pelipper all day. They might just attack the Pelipper all day. We gotta go for Body Press. And I guess Hurricane. How much damage could this do? Hopefully they just attack the Corbinite. And they're just gonna start wasting out turns. Oh man, this get ugly. I should have swapped an Arch Ludon that turn. That's thing, we're gonna attack this turn, and if both Pokemon are on the field, I'm gonna swap into Arch Ludon. Because they really wanna waste out Tailwind turns. That's like their biggest factor right now. Is to waste out these Tailwind turns. Alright. I'm cool with this. So Leftover's gonna give him a little bit of HP. We're just gonna go for the same thing this turn. We're just gonna go for a Hurricane into a Body Press. And we'll see how this plays out here. Hurricane is out speeding, which is great with the Tailwind. Hurricane does respectable damage, and we get the ducks. Hold up. Ducks are on the board. Ducks are on the board. Body press follows through. Does negative five damage. And ducks, can we hit up hit up some damage here? Of course not. Order up flies through. Is that going after Corvo? No, you're going after Pelipper now. So you're sitting here looking at my Pelipper, seeing it's all scary. Now I'm gonna swap Corvo. Even though Corvo and I can't do anything up against Goldingo. Nothing. Nothing up against Golden Go. Alright, so what do we got? One turn left in Tailwind? That doesn't help us at all. That doesn't help us at all. These Tailwind turns went out too quick. I should have swapped the other turn. Um, he's just going to protect. And the problem here is if I swap... You know what? We're going to have to play it. We're going to have to sacrifice a Corviknight. We're going to swap into Archaludon. From Corviknight. And if I can land another Hurricane, that'd be nice. Maybe he hits himself in Confusion. That could be good. But I think he just protects Waste Out Tailwind and get Leftovers. I'm going to swap to my Archer Loot on. Just in case he protects. And hopefully he just hits himself in Confusion here. He does. Hold up. Can Hurricane KO? Oh, man. Oh man, so range stops. He's sitting here. Boost it right here. And I think our best bet would just be sacrificing our Arch Ludon. Or not Arch Ludon. Sacrificing our Corviknight. We gotta hope that he that he attacks Arch Ludon here. And then we can set up another tailwind. That's that's our one play. That's our that's our one play. That's our only way of winning this game. I was thinking we had one more turn left in Tailwind, so it would have worked out perfectly, but that protect turn one really slowed things down for us. I'm going to end up swapping into Corvo. And hoping he's going for order up into that slot. Ducks are flying here again. Can you hit yourself with confusion one more time, please? No, you don't. Can you go after Corvo Knight? No, you don't. You play it smart. You're just like, all right, let me get rid of you. Which was the smart play. Because then Tatsugiri and Goligo could have cleaned up the match. So, GG's to our opponent. That is going to be the game. I really thought we had one more turn of Tailwind earlier in the match. But, man... Don Dozo getting the best of us. Leaving it low on HP. Honestly, you know what actually killed us was that trick early on with Corviknight. Kind of just took it straight out the battle. Because this was a slow-paced battle that I really could have just set up. Uh, that I really could have just sat here and set up. What's it called? What's the move I'm trying to think of? I could have just set up Iron Defense. But, again, they used trick on me. Now I'm just going to run this match because Don Dozo has it pretty much locked up. Moving on to our second match, and we're looking to bounce back here. Don Dozo just got the best of us. Going up against Swift Swim Barrascuda. I haven't seen this Pokemon since, like, the Sword and Shield days, but we're going up against a real dope team. They also have Chlorophyll, Blossom, and Ninetales, so we kind of want to win this Weather War. We don't kind of. We kind of have to win the Weather War, so I like this. I like this matchup right here. Dope team. They got Comfy. They got Reuniclus, Avalug. 
really dope team. I do like Archaludon here. I think Archaludon's a great Pokemon. Obviously, Pelipper we're going to want to bring in here. But Fable and Dragapult could also be a really good lead for us. I do like Fable Dragapult. That is actually going to be my lead. Fable, Pole coming out here. And we will just bring that Archaludon and Pelipper for late game. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So, looking to bounce back here. We are 0-1. Again, Don Doza just doing us dirty. It comes like a point in a matchup. when you, Especially when you verse Don Doza's in this format. It's like, dude, I don't have haze. I don't have clear smog. How am I going to deal with this? And then like, you come to reality, you're like, I can't deal with this. We're just going to lose this match. And that's kind of where I was at last match. Especially after they, what's it called? They used Trick onto my Corviknight. That was a slight issue. Because I was ready just to bulk up. I was just like, okay, I can just out bulk the competition with these defense boosts. And I was just like, wait a minute. You probably have Haze on Murkrow. And then you ended up just tricking me. And I was just like, dude, I'm stuck with body press, no defense boost, doing minimal damage this whole time. So we really didn't get out get out any uh value. Out of our what's it called? Out of our uh Corviknight. But they're gonna end up going Barris Scooter and Ninetales, which is kind of weird. Like I could swap and change weather, but then I just give Barris Scooter that that, that goodness, right? That real power. That, that, that swift swim. So I think from here, just going like Dragon Terra and follow me is most likely my play. Just support Dragon Terra, Dragon Darts, and just support these shots, right? I I, I, th I think that that's where I like to be. I mean, both these Pokemon aren't that bulky, especially Barrascoot is more of a lightweight. So who knows? One Dragon Darts might be able to even KO this thing. That'd be awesome. So, I'm just going to support the Dragon Ball. I'm just going to go for follow me. Sending Dragon Darts across the board. And we'll see how this one plays. I really like Clefable. I think Clefable is such a good support Pokemon. It really goes under the radar. So, we're out speeding, obviously. We're sending this. There's no need for us to change weather. Dragon Darts, great damage into the Ninetales. How much damage into the Barrascuta? Like I said, it had a shot at KO and it almost did. Crunch, why are you dodging follow me? Hold up. What you got What, what you got going on here? You thought I was swapping into Pelper. What you got going on here? Why? Do you have. What's that ability called? Stalwart? Do you have Stalwart? You just might. You just might, which is scary. But I'm just going to go into that again. And if you want to end up swapping, I mean. They haven't. They can't get, get rain, right? Unless they use a move. Yeah, there's nobody with an ability. So I'm just going to do this. And in case they swap, we're just going to go into Ice Room just to slow down opponents. The Dragon Dart's going to fly. Pick up a double KO. Bounce back match here, match number two. Looking looking real well for us. Dragon Darts going crazy. Bye bye, Ninetales. Next up, Barrascuta. See you later. I love Barrascuta, though. Its little propeller fin in the back is so dope. I think it's such a cool Pokemon. It was really strong in uh, Sword and Shield when Dynamax was a thing. And I really did like it. So, Icy Wind's going to fail. I mean, our best bet probably is here to just follow me, Dragon Darts again. Reuniclus comes out here with Comfy, maybe? Blossom in the sun. All right, now now, now we want to swap. Now we want to swap and get our weather. We're not going to let you be chlorophyll this whole time. And Blossom shaking them hips. Doing a little Hawaiian dance. Look at it. I love Blossom. Such a cool Pokemon. Such a dope Pokemon. There we go. We're going to swap into our Paloops. Finally get the weather. They thought we were going to go weather turn one, but I mean, with... Bear scoot on the field. We didn't really feel the need to. The Dragon Darts now flies. You get rid of Chlorophyll, and this should be a huge chunk of damage to both of them. Almost half on the Arena Clus is a bit more bulkier, and it's about same damage, about half on each of them, a little bit less. So Acid Spray flies through. It is going to lower Pelipper's defense stats, and Arena Clus probably just going to KO this slot, right? Yes, yeah, Psychic. That's a call on their end. But you're leaving my Dragapult on the field, which is the biggest problem. Like Pelipper was just there to like set the rain. Dragapult's the one that's taking out your team left and right it really is so now i'm just gonna go with clefable um i could icy wind i could follow me i think i am and i'm just gonna go for follow me here and just dragon darts because if my dragon pool survives this turn then she's gonna dragon darts this turn dragon darts next turn win the game <laughs> choice fan dragon darts doing ridiculous amounts of damage Unless they got a Fairy Terra, that's the only way they have a shot. But I mean, I have Arch Ludon, so if they want a Fairy Terra, I can just Flash Cannon it later. I think we win this match, no problem. So Follow Me comes out here from our Fable. I love like the little like motion it does, like puts his hands up in the skies and opens his mouth. It's like, yeah, I just use Follow Me. <laughs> but Dragon Darts bringing you down the red, probably bringing you down the red as well. 
like I said, follow me was easily the play. They end up going for a sleep powder. And I got them safety goggles on my fable. Come on now. Trick Room comes out here. That's actually a smart play. But, I mean, not much you can do here when I'm just going to follow me the shot. So, Dragon Darts, follow me. Pretty simple match. I just got a double hitting move. Or if that Sleep Paddle landed. That actually could have been... That could have been a nice play. Sleep Paddle to Fable. Trick Room. And then they could have just outsped and kind of picked up some KOs. But they just canceled the match. GG's. We're sitting one and one Time for our final match. Your boy sitting one and one Would love to grab ourselves a winning record. Going up against Double Dragon. Garchomp. High Dragon. They also have King Gambit. They got Kilowattle. They got Wimscott. So two Tailwind users. They also have Sinistra. So... A lot going on here. A lot going on. I mean, Dragapult, really good for speed here. Um, I could go Arch Ludon. I could go Pelipper for the lead. That's not bad because, I mean, if they're going to go Tailwind, I would like to go Tailwind. Uh, the only problem with that would be the bird right there. Hmm. What is my call? What is my play? I definitely want Fable in here, but I don't want to lead Fable. I definitely want to get off Tailwind. So, you know what? I'm going to go Pelipper. I'm going to go Arch Ludon. I think Arch Ludon Pelper is just a solid lead for us all around, especially because Body Press would be super effective, not only onto the King Gambit, but into the Hydreigon. So that works out well, so I think both of them are great. And then we go into our Wombo combo for the back end. Clefable, Dragapult. I'm down. I'm in for it. I'm in for it. So one and one Down those who are getting the best of us in match number one. Dragapult going crazy in match number two. Picking up a dub. That was just a simple win for us. I mean, once I see no lead, I was just like, okay. There's no need for me to set the rain. So it's like, let's just follow me, Dragon Terror, Dragon Darts. And then we just did it for like four more turns and it was GG's. Like, just doing a ridiculous amount of damage. It's absurd. Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse, amazing when the power level's lower. Like, once you took out the Paradox Pokemon, it's like Dragon Pulse back. Dragon Pulse back. It's just too fast, too much of a heavy hitter to kind of not use, right? Especially in this format or in this, uh, yeah, I should say in the Terra format, this generation. It's just really good. But they're going to end up going into these two. Um, I don't mind this. As I play here, just drop an Electro Shot. Tailwind probably the call here. So I'm going to go for Tailwind. Try to set that ba bad boy up. Um, I could tear Grass. I could go for Electro Shot. Um, I could just go for Flash Cannon. Body pressing bad. Um, bum, 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 bum. Could take off Focus Ash. I'm just going to Flash Cannon you. I am just going to flash can you. Let's see what he chooses to do. There's a chance that he protects Hydreigon here. There is a chance. It could double down into Pelipper, which would be probably an elite play. But you would need to be focused Ash on Wim's Cut to actually pull that off. But they're going to end up to Rastalize in turn one. Most likely Hydreigon coming out here. And what you going? Oh, no. A little bit of, a little bit of Ghost Terror on the Whimsy. A little bit of Ghost Terror on the Whimsy to get this match started. I like it. I dig it. Kind of leads me to think that you're not focused, Ash. You end up going for fake tears. That's something we don't like. That's something we don't like. Hold up. Give me a second. I have Assault Vest. And how much damage is done? Fake tears whimsy. That's a heck of a play. I'll give it to my opponent. That's a heck of a play. Oh, man. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. All right. It's pull time, though. I mean, getting rid of Arch like that's massive. But it's pull time. I mean... Dragon Terror, Dragon Dodge gotta be our play. Even if you tail one, my Dragon Pulse gonna be faster. So I think just going Hurricane here and Terrasalize and just send this Dragon Darts. Gotta be my play. It has got to be my play. You do not have Terra anymore. Use it on Whimsicott. And I think one Dragon Dart will KO the Hydreigon. It's super effective. That's why I want to double down on Whimsicott. And Dragon Pulse should outspeed anything. If we're both in Tailwind, right? So Dragon Tire comes out here. Archer Ludon getting dumped on. Actually, not gonna lie, I like to see that. I like to see Arch Ludon die because it's just too strong. The Tailwind does fly. I doubt your choice scarf. We should be able to outspeed the Hydreigon. And yeah, Dragon Dart's gonna fly. We're gonna say bye bye to Hydreigon. Get it on out my face. And we're gonna say bye bye to Whimscott because we're doubling down here. So we got some speed for a couple turns. Just for a couple turns. Which is nice. And Hurricane's just gonna finish off. Whimsy. So you get rid of my Arch Line, but we're bouncing right back in this match. Dragapult. Money Pokemon. Such good Pokemon. 
Um, depending on what they do, we can always swap into Fable. We do have Fable for Follow Me. Um, there might be one to happen this turn. Let's see, what you got here? What you got so no Terra. That's huge. No Terra on the Garchomp. This is pretty good for us, because Dragapult, again, best on the field. How many turns left in Tailwind? Two for us, so... It's actually pretty good. There's a chance they might just protect here. I am going to end up going into the Feeble? But Garchomp's going to die out to this. Um, you know what? Let's just stay on the field and let's just... Let's just rip a Hurricane or a Weather Ball. Let's just Weather Ball you and go for Dragon Darts. Let's see, the thing is, if you protect... The other Pokemon's just screwed. You can't protect. You can't read a protect on Dragon Darts. So, you KO'd my Arch Ludon, but at what cost? Now, look at that. You protect the Garchomp, and Dragon Darts just doubles down into your Kilowattro. At what cost was it to get rid of my Arch Ludon? Use your Terra. You wasted everything just to lose the match. That is huge. So, my plan here is to just go for Dragon Arts. If you end up going for Double Protect, we're going to swap into Fable, and we're just going to win this game. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. So things weren't looking that good when he dumped on Arch Luan. But after realizing they didn't have Terra, it was nice. So just to reiterate, we're going to swap into Fable here. And the reason being, chances are they want to go for Double Protect and have that Tailwind turn to outspeed my Dragapult. But if they, for some reason, land a Double Protect of RNGs on their side... We're going to have Fable out here just to follow me the next turn. And if it doesn't land, we just go for a Dragon Darts. But ultimately, they just cancel the match. And we go 2-1 for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Slow start in today's video. Losing match number one. But Fable and Dragapult bouncing back, going crazy, and winning us two out of the three battles. Absolutely love this team so much. Like I said in the beginning of today's video, didn't really want to use Basque Legion or like Arch Luan or Pelipper too much, considering we used it plenty of times on the channel. So I feel like I did a good job with showcasing Fable and Dragapult more so. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.